Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be checking out a brand new Cassette Beast trailer. Now, Cassette Beast is one of those games that I feel like a lot of people are kind of sleeping on. Like, a lot of people do know about this game, but I feel like it's not enough. This is probably one of my most, if not my most anticipated game that's coming out in the distant future. We don't know when, the, when this game's coming out. There's no release date yet, so I'm assuming it's probably not this year. Probably maybe 2023, 2024, etc., Four games that are coming out in the far future, this is definitely one of, if not my most anticipated. We had uh, Nexamon Extinction. It was really good in 2020, but I wasn't really anticipating it because I never played a Nexamon game before. I've been really anticipating Coromon this year, but like for the future, Cassette Beast is definitely something that I think is going to be really good. Um, we're going to go through this new trailer dubbed the Cozy Trailer. If you want more Cassette Beast information, I do have a few videos. One of them's actually here. Uh, I will leave a link to a playlist in the description we have a video going over the type chart video going over all the known monsters at the time a video going over the fusion demo etc anyways let's jump in to this trailer there you can see the fusion i really like this art by the way like whoever drew this really good job same with the song the song's really good Welcome to New Wir Wirl, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is actually showcasing what I'm assuming is like the bonding mechanics, because if you don't know, the way Cassette Beast works is you transform into the monsters. You scan them in the wild with your cassette tape, th their, sorry, cassette player. There's some sort of way that you scan the monsters, and then you can transform into them, and you have a partner which the partners are interchangeable and they can also transform. And then you guys can also fuse. You have a bonding level that's based in like, I think there's like five levels. The higher level you have, the better fusion. Fusions are also uh, on an algorithm. So these fusions that you saw right at the beginning, like this one, this is created based on an algorithm of the two, mon like they didn't design specific fusions. I'm sure they might've for a few, but for most of them, there's over 10,000 combinations. They were actually like completely decided through um, various algorithms. So th I think that's really cool. Uh, there's going to be about 100 and something monsters and then over 10,000 fusion combinations. So there you go. All fusions are also dual typed, which is pretty cool. While the regular monsters are monotyped. There's a lot that goes into even the battle system. Like this game's so sick. Like check out that playlist. Trust me. You guys won't be disappointed. Let's head out and explore the island. Yeah, even the even the gliding mechanic, uh, you're partially transforming when you create the wings. They're gonna smash. <laughs> we'll find our way off this island eventually. I'm sure of it. This is also kind of interesting because Kaylee, Kayla here um, was actually the one who protects you in the first, the very first scene of the game. I was under the impression that you're the only one who wasn't supposed to be here, kind of like Link's Awakening, because it seems like it's going to be like a dream world because uh, you're kind of uh, brought here in like a, a nightgown almost. But maybe the whole entire like populate human population of the island is all just people who randomly showed up here, which is kind of an interesting premise if you ask me. Adventure Battle Transform. And here we go. Platforms. Xbox Series X, Xbox One, Xbox Game Pass. You Monster Sanctuary fans who played on Game Pass, there you go. Nintendo Switch and Steam slash PC. So no PlayStation yet. Uh, I'm not sure if PlayStation is just not going to happen or there hasn't been a confirmation for it yet. But unfortunately for you PlayStation players, <sighs> Monster Taming is kind of tough because a lot of games like I, I notice will come out for um, Switch and then... Even in this case, you have Xbox, but no, but no PlayStation. So that, that's very unfortunate because usually PlayStation has really good exclusives. But other than that, like this game, I'm telling you guys right now, this game is going to be big just based on how good it is. That, that that's kind of you can tell. Like generally speaking, the monster taming games that just have really high quality pixel art, uh, just like solid mechanics and interesting world building, which I believe this game does have. They they tend to get more. Um, 
they tend to get more attention because of these like good factors. So I think right now cassette beats is an earlier development, but I, I do think over time it is going to get more popular because it's a good, like it looks like a good game. Even like the whole idea behind the monster designs, right? Like if these are Pokemon, people would say they're bad designs. Like, oh, these ones look too mechanical. There's too much metal. There's too much like plastic. There's all the, but, 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 but that's the thing. Like, cassette beasts aren't pokemon they're, they're, they're their own specific thing they actually look like cassette beasts which i think is pretty cool there are a lot of monster taming games where you wouldn't be able to tell is this a monster from this game or a monster from this game or is it a, a fake mon right cassette beast doesn't have that issue by any means i could tell it's a cassette beast so pretty cool stuff um yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think about Cassette Beats. Are you excited for this game? Did you even hear about it before this video? If uh, so, all their social media links will be below. Definitely check them out. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys for Monster Tamer news tomorrow. And uh, take it easy. Peace.